2024 has been a really awesome year for community growth and Excalibur. We've had a ton of people making really cool stuff. And this video, we're going to cover all of the really neat things that people are making. And I probably missed some stuff. So if I missed you, let me know. We'll get you in next year's. And I probably am going to pronounce things wrong. So I apologize about that. First up is a game called Coloroids from Adam Duhansen. Uh, apologies if I mispronounced that. But it's a interesting take on uh, asteroids where it's very skill-based. If you touch the walls, you die. And then you have to modulate your blaster color to match your enemies in order to clear them. Very fun. Next up is a Quasar Excalibur template from community member Arcane Cat. Quasar is kind of like a view way to do mobile apps and electron apps. Next up is something really cool called Idle Survivors from Outsider 666. Uh, working on this, we really stretched the limits of what Excalibur could do, and Outsider was a real big help making Excalibur more performant in the collision systems in order to make a Survivors-like game. Next up, he was working on shadow casting and Fog of War. Uh, and in this example, you can see there's little shadows that are thrown off of the rocks. So it's a pretty neat effect. Uh, and you can use this ray casting approach in your game as well. Uh, this one reminds me of kind of like a net hack type, type deal. He also is working on Project Avalon, which is kind of like a community source code recipe book for all of the Excalibur samples. And what demo is complete without a falling sand simulation, which are near and dear to my heart. Next is the Gamified Task Manager from Brennan. Uh, he's been working on this in Excalibur to create a kind of motivation uh, to get your tasks done that is also kind of game-based. Uh, so it's really slick. He's been documenting on his YouTube channel all of the progress he's been making and some of the design choices he's making. So he switched to a more simple art style here. Um, next up is Geekmancer from Buster Code for Ludendari 55. It's really awesome. Uh, you can see me playing it here. Uh, I'm not very good, but it's kind of a tower defense in the, uh, in the kind of the occult graveyard sense. And this is built in Excalibur, and the art is just stupendous. Buster Code really outdid himself building this game. Uh, and you can tell that I'm not very good at it. Um, and we'll, we'll go here for a little bit and see how far I can go. Next up is an untitled project using the tiled map editor from... Uh, C. Jadwick. Next is A Very Tiny Game by Darkshines, who's been really setting the bar really high for UI in Excalibur games. This is all HTML-based UI, as far as I know, and it looks awesome. And this is the in-game UI for the game, uh, and it's just looking very snazzy, very slick, very much like you wouldn't know this was a web game if you didn't know any better or you could see the dev tools open on the right i do like the dancing text because that really reminds me of the kind of the classic rpgs where you could see like text dancing around or text da uh like doing different colors. It's very funny. Next up is an isometric demo game, kind of in the vein of uh, Diablo from Doc. And here you can see your inventory management screen here and your equipment screen. Very cool game. Uh, I can't wait to play this. Next is multiplayer Zelda game from Drew Conley, friend of the channel. And you can Go take a look at his YouTube video, but he goes and grabs some assets out of Spider Resource 
and imports them into Excalibur and creates a multiplayer game, uh, kind of like Four Swords style in Excalibur using PureJS as the, you know, back end. It's using WebRTC to do the multiplayer bits. I check out his channel for all the details, but it's pretty slick. He goes into all you need to make that happen. He also built uh, this Mega Man style platformer, which I think he's now ported to Godot, um, but it works pretty well in Excalibur too. Look at this. This is pretty slick. Next up is Hint of Lime, and they have been doing some truly awesome pixel art. Here they have an animated version of Cal, and a big white dude here uh, that is ready to punch. And they've also been experimenting with behavior trees, so you have some automated uh, character behavior here where they walk back and forth. And also a really neat character select, select screen. It really reminds me of like old school Smash Bros. Really neat. I love the art. They also have been contributing some uh, technical uh, improvements to Excalibur. Uh, they have a prototype of swept AABB time of impact. This one is called Roke, and it's kind of like a realistic physics game. Next up, we have cl the Claw Game from Italo Capasso. And it's using realistic physics to grab the balls here. And then the claw can take damage if it you don't do it right. Um, you can go and power up your claw and get it even better. Jean made Pixel War. Uh, and if you're anything like me, I really do love me a tactics game. Uh, and it's real crunchy, which I love. Um... So you can go and do whatever you want to do, kind of like a la Advance Wars, if you've ever played that. I'm a huge fan. I sunk a lot of time into Advance Wars. But uh, you can see this game being played. And if you want an example of how to do this, there's a tiny tactic sample on Excalibur. Next up is Crossroads from Little Doobie. A little uh, screen here about decorating your room kind of Halloween themed and you can get different items and decorate your room. You can adjust their scale. Next up is retro ski from Matt. Um, here you can see me playing. I'm not very good. Um, the ghost is making a lot better job of getting all of the, uh, uh, the gates instead of me. Uh, and we'll see me just give up here. Next up is Excal Excalifarm from Manoob, uh, who really took it to task to make a really cute and fun little game. Um, I love the music, and I love the vibes. Uh, so good. Matt Jennings has been on the warpath and making lots of cool stuff, including a color map shader, a JSX abstraction over Excalibur objects. So in that example, we had um, JSX labels. There's also kind of a UI pattern toolkit that you can go and grab. Uh, and this is HTML UI, and you can go play with that. He's also been playing with constraints, which you can use to make ropes. Very fun. One thing that Matt Jennings has been really focusing on is how to do platforming slopes. Definitely check out his blog post about systemless components to do uh, different and perhaps better composition. Justin Young won the first inaugural web game challenge with his game Alien Waves. Uh, you can go play that on itch. It's pretty fun. Uh, it's a tower defense game where you place towers to keep the aliens from destroying your center tower. You can hear me. You can see me being very bad at it here as the alien approaches my center tower and does some damage.
Justin also wrote a blog post, which has been really popular, called Goal-Oriented Action Planning. It's a way of doing like autonomous agents uh, based on goals and priorities and what they'll do. So you can kind of see this guy go and get trees, and then the bear will scare it away. He's also made uh, a board game uh, called Orbit Connect with lots of really cool planet and nebula shaders. His most recent project has been this classic shooter uh, where you run and gun bugs through various rooms, Zelda-like rooms. There is a blog post on the Excalibur blog about wave function collapse and some example code, but you can generate levels uh, like this one, uh, and take a look at the code. It's uh, really, really well put together. We now have Tetris from uh, Morcox. Very good. Built in Excalibur. And here's a little bit of polish on that. Here we are with a HTML text-based RPG from Mortal Life. I don't think this is built on Excalibur, but still super cool. Um, uh, I was, I was clicking around this for a while. This reminds me of, uh, another game I played and it's, the name is escaping me at the moment. You'll probably tell me in the comments. Here is another game by Mortal Life. This one is built in Excalibur called Era of Artificer. Uh, and it's, uh, got like the whole, uh, rigmarole, like online chat. You can, uh, do multiplayer and you can do some crafting. This one is from Moses and Tech. Prophets of the Triumvirate. It's kind of like a old school Final Fantasy Secret of Mana type RPG. Uh, and they've been working on this for a while and it's looking really cool. Uh, I love the art. I love the design. Um, and this is using, as far as I remember, the Tiled plugin uh, to import the level designs from Tiled. His newest game, uh, Catalog Chronicles, is kind of a cozy library game as far as I know where you can go around a library, help people with your books, um, something like this. Uh, yeah, definitely check it out. This is an isometric game and map editor from um, Mujir Dev, uh, and it looks stupendous, it looks wonderful. Um, they made their own level editor here to place items in this isometric world, and then they can navigate it. They also have multiplayer, and then you can see the items live across the multiplayer sessions. Next up is Monster Brew from Noise. It's kind of a rock, paper, scissors type game where you need to have the right potions to get through different monsters, and different monsters have different drops. They also built a tactics game that looks really fun. And if you know me, you know I love these types of games. Um, I can spend hours on stuff like this. Parnik has built a really awesome kind of matching game called Grindstone. Uh, which is so much fun to play because it zips around kind of like uh, it with increasing speed and screen shake and the sounds are great. Um, and the goal is to, you know, clear uh, the blocks to the next level there with the bomb uh, and then get your high score. Next up is Burger Buddies and, from PZ. And this one is an Excalibur, even though it looks 3D. I think these are pre-rendered sprites, uh, 3D sprites. But this is this is the the first 3D game in Excalibur, as far as I can tell. Air quotes, 3D game. Uh, it's kind of one of those, uh, you know, you got to take your orders, you got to move quick kind of games. A lot of fun. Another one from PZ is Viginti, I think. And this one, I played this one a lot. Uh, it's a fun little like chance based game where you open doors and sometimes it's a trap or a monster or sometimes it's something valuable like a coin um, and then you need to you know follow the maze so you, you're kind of calculating your risks and trying to collect resources so that you can survive and then keep going and I love the music I love the style so good 
Raylu made this game as a gift. And it's a cute little uh, game where you're trying to keep these pigs from getting to the other end of the screen. Next up is Awesome Excalibur from Regal, um, which is a bunch of resources that you can use um, for Excalibur. Next is a tactics pathfinding demo from Rock S. On the pathfinding zone, we have a, an RTS kind of group pathfinding from Sample Pack. Shaheim is working on some decorating game where you can rearrange your room and place objects on a grid. Their other game called Zombie Brawl is very polished. Uh, this looks amazing. This looks like something that you could go buy and play right now. Um, as you can see, uh, they have a really fun little sense of humor here. Uh, and I don't want to fight that zombie. Uh, but you can run around the little town here and talk to the NPCs. Uh, there's also combat, which we'll get to in a moment. You can pick up weapons and then fight that really big, ugly zombie uh, and make sure that you reload. And then once the zombie is down, they will drop uh, some rewards. Error. <laughs> and then you can take a look at the error gun. Role Masters is really fun. This is kind of a uh, kind of a clicker game where you uh, it's like a line go up clicker game where you put little dice down and you can buy modifiers and the goal is to get more energy over time and get more uh, dice to get more energy. It's kind of like this positive feedback cycle where you keep clicking and things shake and you get points and it uh, it feels really good. I think there's this game this has legs. This is a really good game. Well, this has been 2024. All of the folks uh, that are building stuff for Excalibur, this has been so cool and so awesome and so inspiring. It's really been like excellent to see. Uh, and I can't wait to see what people are building this year. And already there's been a lot of stuff in the Discord this year. Um, that I didn't put in the video that I wanted to. Um, so definitely come join the Discord, check it out, and see all of the really neat projects that are being built. All right, see y'all later.